All right, we're back. Bitcoin mining in March of 2025 no longer is viable. It's a money losing proposition. So why would you even consider mining Bitcoin when the difficulty is so high and there's just so many players out there and yet we're losing money. The electricity, it doesn't even cover the cost of the electricity. However, I've got a little secret behind the scenes here. Let me show you. Okay, here's the secret to being, well, I changed that. It's impossible to be profitable. It really is. You have to give up something in mining Bitcoin in March of 2025. Well, here I am in my only little mining rig I have running right now. So I've just got five GPUs. Let's go take a look at the screen. So here's my mining rig and I just turned it on this morning and I've already mined 2,883 shares in 2084. All right, you can see there's the five GPUs. Now, according to what to mine, I am like losing a couple dollars a day if I use regular electricity. Now, this monster was taking like 370 watts and it was giving me a 100, 105 mega hash rate, but it puts out so much heat, I figured, you know what, let me use just the 3060 Ti's, but let me show you my trick and how I can get this Bitcoin as profitable as possible, even though it's not really profitable. Let me show you, come with me. Ah, Manny and Mo in the beautiful March super stunning weather today I've got my Bitcoin miner on Manny and Mo now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn off the grid feed to the solar and we're gonna see just how much Bitcoin or how many shares of Bitcoin that I can mine off a nice hash on battery alone and solar on a beautiful sunny solar day. Come with me. Okay, to be clear, 2.4 kilowatt, 1.2 kilowatt. Okay, electric vehicles, awesome, electric vans. Let's go around and let's see the solar. All right, so I've got Manny and Mo, my two arrays, coming in feeding this POW Mr. Uh, this is like a 6800 or 6000 watt inverter. And this panel here is all output of solar. So it's taking the DC in from my batteries and my array, converting it into AC, feeding this panel, which is now feeding my Bitcoin miners. And here, under this box, which is just temporary here, because it, you know, it gets so cold out here in New Jersey, the batteries could freeze. This is 15 kilowatts of battery. I have three 51 volt, um, 100 amp hour batteries below here, rack mounted batteries. Now I can see that my batteries are almost fully charged. They're 51.9 volts. That's how you can determine the charge of your batteries. Yes, I'm in an alarm. I can't get rid of that ground alarm. There's something wrong with the arrays that have the individual grounds. I'm going to have to go out and check that. Okay, so let's tell you a little bit what's going on here. So we have the array going in right here, the two arrays, Manny and Mo. This is my battery output or my battery input connection. And here's my AC in and my AC out. All right, explain a little bit what's going on. So because this is a hybrid inverter, this inverter will always ensure an output by mixing grid power with solar power and battery power. So what I'm gonna do is shut off the grid power and only let my Bitcoin miners mine off the battery and the solar only. And that's the experiment we're gonna do. So experiment that we're gonna do right now. So how do I do that? Well, I'm just gonna shut off the grid to this. These batteries are fully charged. 
we saw how many shares. We had 2,884 shares. Let's shut this off and then let's see how much Bitcoin I can mine with my own energy. Okay, so here's my solar. I got a 40 amp feed and we're gonna shut that off right now. We saw the little blink, right? Okay, so now I am only on solar and battery, mining my Bitcoin upstairs. Let's look at the arrays. 207 volt, 160 volt. Batteries at 51.1. Let's go look. Okay, we're still running. We're still running and now we have 2929 and it says here it's 1218. Let's see how much Bitcoin we can mine under just solar panel. Well, so we're solar power. But let's be clear and let's be fair. This whole shop is on solar right now. All the lighting and all the regular 110 receptacles are on the solar system. So uh, that drain, in addition to the Bitcoin, certainly is going to take that battery quicker. Um, however, we're going to see, because there's no reason to mine Bitcoin unless you're doing something like this. It's just a complete waste of money right now. Now, again, if Bitcoin takes off the way it does, but you know what? This becomes more of a hobby, right, than it is a profit center. I have yet to sell any Bitcoin or ever receive any cash from it. So we'll see. So it's more of a hobby. And that's what's great about being an electrical contractor, electrician, right? Look what we got here. We've got solar renewables. We've got EV charging. We've got Bitcoin mining all within our grasp. So I'll see you in a little bit and we'll see where we ended up. Okay, so it looks like under just solar power, I am mining 27 cents a day. All right, we came back about an hour or so later. We're at 49.7, that's pretty good. Considering that Bitcoin miner's running. Let's go see how many shares we've mined. Okay. So 3,279 and it's 1313. So it's about an hour, more than an hour. And we're running good. We're going pretty strong. 49.2, it's really holding up there. It's really working better than I thought it would.